France's first Rafale F-4 fighter jet for UAE moves to initial flight testing after official presentation. On January 29, 2025, Eric Trapier, CEO of Dassault Aviation, officially unveiled the first Rafale F-4 fighter aircraft produced for the United Arab Emirates Air Force UAE AF in the presence of French Minister of the Armed Forces Sebastian Lecarnu and UAE Minister of State for Defense Affairs Mohammed bin Mubarak Fadhel al Masrau AI. The aircraft will remain at Dassault Aviation's flight test center for scheduled evaluations before its delivery to the UAE AF and AD planned to begin at the end of 2026. This aircraft is the first produced under the 17 billion euros contract signed in December 2021 for 80 Rafale F4S. The UAE formally entered negotiations to acquire the Rafale on June 19, 2009, as part of its process to replace its Mirage 2000-9E fleet. On November 16, 2011, the UAE publicly described Dassault's offer as non-competitive. On April 19, 2013, the UAE signed a contract with Lockheed Martin to acquire 25 F-16EF Block 60 fighters, which further delayed any immediate Rafale purchase. Discussions shifted toward modernizing the Mirage 2000-9 fleet rather than acquiring new fighter jets. The UAE finalized its order for 80 Rafale F4S, with the contract signed in the presence of French President Emmanuel Macron and Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, then Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Vice Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. The agreement was signed by Dassault CEO Eric Trapier and Tawashin Economic Council CEO Tarek Abdul Rahim Al Hosani. The 17 billion euros contract officially took effect on April 19, 2022, with deliveries scheduled between 2027 and 2031. The Rafale F4S will replace the UAE's Mirage 2000-9 fleet, acquired in 1998. The Rafale program originated in the early 1980s when France withdrew from the multinational future European fighter aircraft FEFA project which led to the development of the Eurofighter Typhoon. Dassault Aviation designed the Rafale as a twin-engine, canard delta-wing multi-role fighter for air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and nuclear deterrence missions. The aircraft first flew in 1986 as a technology demonstrator and entered operational service in 2001 with the French Navy and in 2006 with the French Air Force. Unlike other European fighter programs, the Rafale is primarily developed and manufactured in France, involving contributions from approximately 400 companies, with 90% of its 300,000 components produced domestically. According to a report by the French National Assembly published in 2013, the unit cost of the Rafale is between 90 and 100 million euros, excluding the weaponry. The aircraft has 14 external hardpoints 13 on the carrier-based Rafale M, 5 of which are designed for heavy ordnance or external fuel tanks. The Rafale has an empty weight of around 10 tons and is designed to carry up to 25 tons, including armaments and fuel, making it the only fighter in service capable of carrying 1.5 times its own weight. The Rafale has been used in military operations in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, Iraq, and Syria. Its first combat deployment occurred in Afghanistan between 2007 and 2011. In 2011, it carried out strike missions against armored columns in Libya. In 2013, during Operation Serval in Mali, a Rafale conducted a long-range airstrike lasting 9 hours and 35 minutes. The aircraft has also been deployed in counterinsurgency operations in Iraq and Syria. The Rafale is designed for carrier and land-based operations and has a takeoff distance requirement of 400 meters. It has a top speed of Mach 1.8 2,200 km h and an operational range of 1,850 km at high altitude. 
The aircraft is equipped with the RBE-2AA active electronically scanned array AESA radar and carries various munitions, including Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air Missiles, Scalp EG Cruise Missiles, AASM Hammer Guided Bombs, and AM-39 Exocet Anti-Ship Missiles. The Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite provides self-protection and threat detection. The F-4 standard introduces upgrades in radar, electronic warfare, and networked communication capabilities. It includes improvements in data processing, artificial intelligence-assisted sensor fusion, and an upgraded helmet-mounted display. The aircraft's communications systems have been enhanced for network-centric operations, and provisions have been made for the integration of future weapon systems. Flight testing for the F-4 standard began in 2021, and the first deliveries occurred in 2023. All newly produced Rafales will be built to this standard, while existing aircraft will undergo retrofitting. In 2019, the French government allocated an additional €2 billion Euros for further development, focusing on adapting the aircraft to evolving operational requirements.